Happy in YouTube world. All right, Tidy Bricks here again, Scott again. So I probably heard me talking about this uh, porcelain driveway I've got. Well, this is it here. Um, I'm gonna break this down into um, lots of videos because I wanna get it out before Christmas and I'm probably gonna struggle. So there is different colors to what I was originally planning, things change. So we're using copper um, for the majority of the patio. And then the border, we're having a double border, um, gray and ivory. Right, I'll spin the camera around now, blah, 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 spit my words out. I'll spin the camera around now and actually show you what the crack is. Well, there's my van. Got the van, didn't you? Right, so this is it. This is the driveway. Um, it's reinforced concrete base of, how much is in there? Um, eight inches of reinforced concrete. And then we've got about 200 to 250 mil hardcore underneath. And it's gonna be a beast. So I'm gonna break this video down into smaller bite-sized videos. Then hopefully then I can get one in at the end. So today, I'm gonna have a go at doing the path. Depends if I can cut enough tiles. Right, so there's a load of ivory tiles. What we're gonna actually, I'm gonna spin about round. The width of the actual pathway is 1.2 meters, 1200 mil. So we're gonna have a 300 mil border there, a 600 mil copper tile there, and another 300 mil border there. It's gonna be um, gray, ivory, copper, ivory, grey. Um, yeah, so there's a load there, the ivory ready. Here is a load of grey yet to cut. And that's what I'm going to be doing next. Here's my saw, here's my Zoe, here's my bad boy. Proper saw, proper saw. If you're going to do a proper job, you need a proper saw. So yeah, this table's, uh, this saw's actually really good because it's got a table on the side for oversized pieces like I've got on there at the moment. I've got an 800. I don't want too much balancing on this end because it, well, as soon as I do my chop, it might fall off. So that is basically going to sum it up. So yeah, loads of tiles, loads and loads of tiles. I got my levels set up. Hang on, let me go over here. I got one there going right the way across. And I'm gonna be putting slot draining in down here. Got my string line on the left, my string line on the right. Nice and level that way, slight full this way. We're taking it up to two courses to DPC height. So, right, I gotta crack on with my saw and start doing some chopping. Testing, 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 testicles. Right, I got about 30 of these I gotta cut, so I got loads. So it's all pre-set up here at the moment. I've got a piece here on the back, so every time I cut the slab, take this piece off, slide it, butt it up against this next cut. So I got about 30 of those to do. So I'll show you one and then I'll just crack on with it and show you something then when I'm finished. So for these cuts, I'm just scoring across the top first and then I'll lower the saw down and cut it straight out. one done um, another 29 to go and that's just for the path overall linear meters for the entire job because we're having a double board around everything is about the equivalent of about 250 linear meters so that's a lot of chopping so well actually you probably don't need 30 of these because these are 800s I did that calculation off of 600 
But I'm also top 30 for Manoway because I need probably in total oh, 100. 100 of those, 100 of the ivory. So it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. But yeah, I won't bore you with the rest of this now. I'm just going to crack on and chop a load. And I'll stick the camera up after when I'm laying some. But pretty much ready to rock and roll now. Right, okay, so. Um, yeah, I've had a little set out of the doorway area. I'm just prepping loads today. So the sun's just come out, which is going to make it a little bit harder to see. But we got the grey, we got the ivory, and that's a piece of basalt there, which is quite good, actually. The size of it is 400 by 800, but it fits perfectly in line with the door. So that's going to be the, one of the pieces there. And around here then we're going to have some more copper but until then i've started cutting out my corners i'm not going to just butt corners up against each other because that'd be really boring so i'm going to cut those on my zoe and one of the gadgets i had with this saw which is really good is this corner piece here i can set that up to the angles i want i can tighten it up keep it everything exactly the same position so i can just repetitively cut the same tile again and again and again because that looks much better so then when the ivory then comes here i'll do exactly the same with the ivory i'll put a nice cut in the middle of it so i've got 16 corners all in all 16 corners um so i'm going to cut 16 of them in that position there is there then i'm going to grab this thing take it off put it on the other side so i can do the other angle i did try cutting a tile upside down earlier to see if that would work but as you can see there's chipped it so that didn't work but worth a go so yeah I'm just prepping today. Yesterday on the saw, virtually the whole day, I chopped all those. That was a long day. It took me a lot longer than I thought. But um, yeah, there we go. It's all in the prep, and it? it might take time to cut, but as long as it looks awesome at the end of it, and it's the best porcelain driveway on YouTube, I'm happy. Morning. So like I was just saying, I've set my saw up, so I'm going to start chopping some of these. But one of the important things I want to do as well, this edge here, which could break right on the tip, I need to plunge cut it straight down. Same with this end there. Plunge cut that so it doesn't chip. So let's turn this on and give it a quick whirl. This thing's quite good as well for sharpening up the blades. Just got to wipe it on the blade very gently. There you are, that's enough of that. I do end up with lots of off cuts like this and triangular pieces. I do have to do something fancy by the entrance of the driveway as well. So I'll put these aside and these possibly might come in handy. Right, take the clamp off. Let me open and do that. There we go. Nice sharp cut with a good end. I'm just put it quite close. The end's quite good there. So uh Happy days. Right, I gotta make a big pile of those. 30, 32 of these I gotta make. Oh, so, yeah, I won't bore you with that lot. I'll um, crack on. Right, can you... Okay, testing, testing, testing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I got my bed down. So, bed's laid. We're going to two courses below DPC. And the main thing is primer. Gotta get the primer on. 
so we'll give this a quick little uh, once over and this will just help bond so I've had lots of people asking me I've had lots of people asking me about can you just use cement and SPR yeah if you want does it does pretty much exactly the same thing for um, when you're doing it day in day out I just prefer to use the prop stuff okay so that's all primed up so lay this thing so so I'm taking this now this edge about 10 mil back from this corner which is around about there as you can see my lines are already set up so I've got a full then from this side of the tile to that side of the tile it's about a centimeter so any water is going to land on here it's just going to fly over to there so first one get that in place I'll set my level just to make sure I've got the right angle of the dangle as uh, people like to call it so I'll go from there to there get the glasses on can't see anything these days give that a couple of taps okay that's touching there nicely and the same for this side on this side slightly more awkward this gate's there That looks good. So yeah, primer on. I've come back about a centimetre off the wall here. I normally do a centimetre because some of the brickwork might go in and out and if I'm doing a five mil tight jointer there, it could um, it could interrupt what I'm doing. Cool, so yeah, I'm gonna lay the ivory down there next. I'm gonna stick this one copper one in, small one by there. I'm not gonna bother doing these cuts here yet. I'm gonna do that later, I just wanna get this area down there done so yeah after x amount of weeks months i'm finally laying so happy days right i can't stand around here chatting to you lot i best get on with it tools testing testicles so here we go got a bit of a start going on um as you can see where i started it's a little bit messy but it always is a bit messy um i'm not, not gonna bother with that bit yet on this cut yet I'm just going to run this lot in. But you can kind of see the principle of what's happening. I've got my level string line there, or string line there, centimetre full over the top. Grey, ivory, copper, ivory, grey. Bish bosh. Morning, subscribers, YouTube world. So, we're giving another go. We managed to get that bit done yesterday. Not a great amount but then i did finish about uh three o'clock my um my leg was still in bits killing me right yeah really nice colors actually i'll spin it around so you can have a look okay so here's your start got my echoes in got my corners set up um contrast looks nice actually it's hard to see at the moment properly because um maybe if i go that angle no it's not so bad is it yeah, the colours are actually really nice. There's a bit of glare at the moment from the uh, sun shining down it. Got my first cut to go in there. Another one to go around it. And get round to here today. We get the edgings up, round the back. There's Leo sticking a mix on. Um, bright light, bright light. <laughs> bright light, it Kremlins. Okay, so five mil spaces these clips have been really 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 good especially for the ivory because they're so small they do want to move around so yeah nice one tyler's they uh they work a treat yeah that's nice so imagine this all around here it's gonna look pretty cool isn't it lush Oh, that's going to be the next bit then. Sorting out the fancy bit around the front. Dirty as hell at the moment. That middle one there, that's a basalt. 
So that's the only other single colour on the job, which is kind of nice because it'll look like a doormat, I think. That was going to be what we were going to use originally, was the Symphony Matte Deco. If you can read it. But yeah, they took so long coming up with samples, we ended up passing. Right, okay, mix on. I best get down there and do something. Okay, everybody, what's happening? Um, got the path done down there yesterday. So I'll give you a quick little browse on how that's going so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna post this video um tonight or something and i'm not gonna post anything else then till um i got something a little bit more substantial done but i'm just giving you a bit of a heads up on how this area is working so far so we couldn't do much on it yesterday because we kind of blocked our pathway of going up and down with a saw so we've, um, we went home a little bit early, which is fine because I had my Sky Broadband fitted yesterday, which I've been waiting for bloody months for. Okay, so I almost finished. I'm going to show you a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I was just showing you earlier the path, really, earlier. But I might as well show you this bit I've done. So these corners are really nice. They look quite cool. Um, yeah, I got a water butt going in there for that bit. Oh, spin this around. Ow. So I got a water butt going in there in that corner. And I've still got to do some messing around with that pipe there, so I haven't laid that one in. A couple of tiles here on the corner. They're just temporary at the moment until I cut a curve out of there because I got the border. I got the double border go around there as well the ivory and the grey. Um, yeah, there we go. Something. Um, I'm not going to bother showing any more now. Not until my next video is going to be the circular area here. But that's going to be a real mind bender. That's going to be tricky. That's going to be tricky. This nice fencing's nice as well, isn't it? We've done that as well not too long ago. Just size that arch. Ching. That goes around there in the corner. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm, this is gonna. I'm gonna upload this now tonight. It's um, almost like a bit of a teaser. A little bit of a tease. Because I have been talking about this porcelain driveway for ages, isn't I? Porcelain driveway. Porcelain driveway. Porcelain driveway. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. Then let's see it. So at least I'm on the job. At least I'm on the job. At least I've started. After a long wait. Um, yeah, so I'll upload this tonight, and um, my next one then will be either I'll do some round the front on the drive, I'll get some of those towels in next week, or I'll do, well, I'll do a separate one for that one, and I'll do one for this one, for this circular bit, blah, 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 blah. Right, okay, so, um, right, okay, so, ah, <laughs> even he's laughing every time I flip in and say it, right, okay, so. I almost did her again, just to continue. Almost. Right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So, like, <laughs> ah, well, yeah, kind of, almost, wasn't it? Nearly. Nearly, nearly. Right, actually, sign it one more time. Right, okay, so I'm going home. Like and subscribe if you like. If not, don't worry. It's all good. Right, I gotta go home. See ya. <laughs>